the uh, next boss. And the boss in the wild ones is gonna be it's gonna be all a thing pretty much by its damn self. So Alright, those fucking cats, fucking cats. No, go away, go away. Alright, we're clear, we're clear, we got it. Oh it's time to wake up. Got it. Perfect. Okay. That quest is done. Okay. Woo! Fucking cats. Hey there. No. We already bought stuff from you. Um, our next destination is actually over by the cathedral. I want to get that done. So we're almost at 5,000 HP, so... Hopefully we'll get there soon. Nope. I'm not even going to waste time, because I'm going to have to fight you guys later anyway. And there's not a... Oh, wait. There they are. I had to wait for them to load. Well, if, if nothing's going to fight me while I'm here... Seriously, is nothing going to fight me on? Oh. Okay. With this sword, I fight for hope. <laughs> you can't read me. seem a bit troubled. Yes, it's true, I am, but I don't know that it's something I'd feel comfortable discussing with a stranger. Fine, I wouldn't want to force you to talk. My, oh, you are a rather frank one, aren't you, miss? It's not that I've been sworn to silence or anything, quite the opposite. I feel like I've got to tell someone. Let me start from the beginning. I am Aramiah. One of the blessed members of the Order tasked with looking after Lady Vanille. Did you say Vanille? Yes, our Lady Vanille. The one and only holy saint who has been gifted with the mysterious ability to hear the cries of the dead that are carried on the winds of chaos. Vanille, the saint? Yes, well the fact is that the Holy One is particularly attached to one particular belonging. A small stone that she always carries. I'm guessing it's no regular piece of rock. You're quite right. It seems like something very special. It reflects the light with a rainbow iridescence. But several days ago, that very stone was stolen by some reprehensible thief. Ever since its disappearance, the poor saint has hardly said a word. She's completely withdrawn. She can't find the thief? Find the thief? The holy saint? She cannot leave the cathedral. It is completely out of the question. Mm? I see. So you keep your precious saint locked up like some sort of criminal or animal. You say too much. Well, the, the only reason the saint is kept within the cathedral is for her own safety and protection. She can't be trusted with herself? <sighs> yes, that's it, exactly. Uh... If what you say is true and she never leaves the cathedral, then only other Order members could have gotten to her. You, you're suggesting that a member of the Order stole the saint's precious belonging? You could not be more wrong. It's impossible. Then you admit others into the cathedral to see your saint, do you? There is an outfit which is allowed to enter to make their deliveries, but... Their staff always go through a thorough inspection. They couldn't even sneak out a pebble if they tried. Hmm. There's an exception to every rule. Where do I find them? I, I wish I could tell you, but I don't know. I think they work out of the warehouse district. Okay, so somebody stole Vanille's crystal shard thingy. And we need to bring it back to her. The warehouse district. It's as simple as that. And Hello. we are going to be heading straight there. Uh, and then we need to head to the graveyard after this. 
because I think we'll actually be closer to the graveyard, and then we can run back through. Actually, we'll just, uh, I'll cut to back here, but we need to go to the graveyard for two things, so. Hopefully it will not be too late. And then we can go to... I guess we'll have to do the go to the wild ones right at the end of that stuff. Go away. You don't you won't give me much. Ah, fuck it. I need those damn soul seeds. Eh, alright. They gave me something so I can use chronostasis. I want to be able to finish this, finish up Saz's uh, little quest here before we go on to the next day. Uh, I need to figure out how many soul seeds I have eventually. I know it's not nearly enough, but... Where the hell is the warehouse district at? I think I just walked right past it. Shit. Well, we're close to the graveyard and we'll have to turn back around anyway, so... Let's go ahead and just do this real quick. Not here yet? <laughs> Let's go. I don't plan on losing. You can't break me down. end? This is where the graves are. No, it's on the other side. Shit, that's right. No.
goddess of death is on my side. did work out rather well. <laughs> Alright, running into two of them at the same time, or around, not at the same time, um, so close to each other actually worked out. Oh, three. Let's go ahead. Let's go. Expect me to back down? <laughs> I just fucking, I just used, uh, overclock and just killed him. Doesn't really matter to me. Oh, come on, really? I don't have time for that. Just let me... <sighs> With this sword, I fight for hope. <laughs> Before I tell you anything, can you promise you won't pass this information on to Lackley? That depends on what you have Lackley's to say. Lackley's still in the background, guys. We know this. I we suppose saw that's fair enough. I hardly know where to begin, though. Um... How about I start, then? The old woman working at that restaurant in Yusnan had the same ring as Lackley's. The same as his fiancée's. Why? For the most obvious reason, of course. That old woman was none other than Filiana, the person Lackley's been trying so hard to find. After she left him, she began working under a fake name. That's surprising. The way Lackley described her. Well, she's not what I expected. He wasn't lying. She was a real beauty, once. We don't know how or why, but something happened to her. In this world where everyone stopped aging, she was the one and only person who managed to grow old over the past years. It began right around the time she and Lackley first got engaged. But why? Why would it be possible for one person alone to escape the stasis in this world? And are you saying that's why she left Lackley and disappeared from his life? She said the last thing she wanted to do was become a burden to him. But I know she missed him. She always wanted to know how he was doing. She loved nothing more than hearing stories about him, no matter how banal they were. Back when she could still walk, she told me how she would sometimes pass by him in the streets. 
She never said anything to him. And he never could have guessed that the old woman he saw was his beloved fiance. That's why he never found her after all this time, no matter how hard he searched. Yes. Year after year, she aged more and more. And her body began at last to fail. She's free from that pain now. Finally. I see. I'm glad she was able to find peace. No! No. Lackley! I wouldn't have cared how old my Filiana looked! I loved her with every fiber of my being! My only wish was to spend every day with her until the end of the world! Filiana, why did you have to... No! Lackley. Lackley. Sela, I don't want you to worry about me. Remember what you told me before, when we met? If there's still hope in this world, maybe I'll find Filiana, right? Yeah, I remember saying that. So now I've just proven there's no hope. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying I need to find my own hope for me. I can't wait around for any god or savior. And even if my hopes get dashed, or they never come true, at least in my heart I'll know she's watching over me from somewhere. I'm done being a fool who runs to the bottle every time something goes wrong. That's not me. I want to show Filiana wherever she is that I'm still the man she fell in love with, the man I used to be. That's what she would want. Could you give me that ring? Here. Thank you. You've... You've helped me find some hope of my own while I was supposed to be looking for yours. Should I just go? What's the story? Well, it was given... When the final bell tolls. Hey, is this the stone that Vanille's missing? Oh, the saint will be thrilled to. Dare defy us at 